Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, the 19th of September, 2017, here on the Rancho de Rosie in Santa Rosa, California. And, well, you saw events yesterday here on the Rancho with I guess Missy Jen finally deciding to throw it in town. There was a sequel to that. There was a sequel to that uh, whole episode. Okay, so, you know, Jen doesn't want the boat. I get it, right? And, uh, you know, I thought there's so many bargains down in Florida and they're giving them away. I just thought she'd go crazy with a nice, comfortable, you know, yacht for $2 <laughs> or something that we could work on and uh, fix up. So she's here now, very sheepish. You can come in now. <laughs> you can tell your story and, you know, apologize to everybody for your behavior. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. I'm back. You got the guts to say. I'm back, but... Something happened. <clears throat> yeah, we have a little sequel to yesterday. I got in my car with George, and as we were trying, as we were trying to drive off, and you were happy then, huh? <clears throat> and I was really excited. <clears throat> <clears throat> the car was acting really weird, really spongy. The rear end was really acting weird. The car was kind of going like this. I couldn't even make it out of the driveway, so I got out. Both rear tires were flat. It happens, right? I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> don't look at me, right? <clears throat> Sometimes <clears throat> intervention works in mysterious ways, right? <sighs> Weird. Things happen. So anyway, so I sat in my car trying to contemplate what to do and then all of a sudden I looked in the rear view mirror and I saw the rosy girl with her pudgy little hands <clears throat> and I felt the car jack it up and I heard some rattling and the air the pump out. compressor and everything and she pumped up the tires Pop the car a little bit on the side. My heart melted. And so I got out of the car. <laughs> it was a well, you left the part of it out. Initially, you were looking in the rear view mirror. Oh, yeah. Actually, <clears throat> this is gruesome. Actually, there for a minute, I kind of thought about, like, maybe, like, put her in reverse. Like, like, whatever happened to baby Jane where the like, car yeah. pins her against the gate or like, something yeah. like that. Like, I was going to put it in reverse, and Rosie's got the tires here. But, uh, <laughs> but, I mean, nah, you just, I can't do that. <laughs> So I got out of my house and got a big hug. And well, I didn't go anywhere. So <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah. And uh, what's the deal on the boat? Oh. <laughs> Georgie, get, Georgie Boy is still here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Missy Jen is back. And the good news is there will be no boat. N O no boat. All right, guys. So I want to end on this little note today because, uh, you know, there was some genuine concern and uh, panic. Mm -hmm. There were text messages to me at 1 a.m. in the mornings and stuff. But I just want you guys to know. On October 30th, 1938, Orson Welles, then 23 years old, and the Mercury Player, the Mercury Theater, broadcast H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. By the time they were done that broadcast, millions of people in America were panicked and fleeing, <laughs> and fleeing their homes clogging up highways, begging police for gas masks to use, begging power companies, turn off the lights so the Martians can't find our houses and stuff. Such was the uproar that, well, there was eventually a congressional investigation into what happened on that fateful night in October of 1938. 
Well, I'm going to let you ponder that for a little bit. We love you guys. And uh, <laughs> Missy Jen, thank you for coming in and apologizing. <laughs> I just want to say you, know, you had panic amongst the people here, right? Thank you <sighs> to each and every one of you that truly had concerns, and uh, I just wanted to draw each and every one of you to my ample bosom and give you a big old hug and. Uh, oh, it's good to be home. It's good to be home, and, uh... Give me a hug. Mm, <laughs> I'm special. All right, you guys. all rock. That's all I can say. Have a so. great Tuesday, everybody. We are on the road today. You never know where we're going to pop up this afternoon. That's Stay right. tuned. All I can promise you is we've got some adventure ahead. Might As be Little Rascal 2... Heads out on another mini adventure. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Mm -hmm.